lineup for Valhalla. Number two, Emily McBride. Number three, Jenna Smith. Number four, Emily Diaz-Conti. Number five, Yane Garcia. Number six, Georgia Swaggerty. Number seven is Ferry Craft. Number eight is Melissa Gomez. Number nine is Liliana Miriam. Number 10 is Isabel Gonzalez. Number 11 is Ava Coulter. Number 12 is Rachel Lonergan. Number 13 is Victoria Castelli. 14 is Ruby Del Rio. Number 15 is Kate Moransky. 16 is Nicole Ayad. 17 is Natalie Nybert. 18 is Alyssa Kashuhanan. 20 is Jenna Hernandez. And 21 is Juliana Dioud. Just give you the newcomers for the Foothillers. Uh, Sarah Stanley is a junior. She is double zero. Curtin, Isabella Curtin, she's number three. Number six is, uh, or let's go to number seven, Madison Smith. Number nine is Grace Toruella. Number 10 is Larissa Neal. She, number 11 is Kayla Cecina. Number 12 is Juliana Bistreri. Number 18 is Sarah Funk. 20 is, or uh, actually 22 is Kirsten Funk. And 24 is Layla Salazar. All the rest of the players on the Foothillers, you pretty much know. Shift callers for all you sailors out there, past and present, we're underway. Foothillers with possession on the near side for a run. And getting back there to protect is Nybert. Mahala with it down their left flank. And shepherding that ball back to Natalie Emery is Funk. Kirsten Funk back to retrieve it. And that ball is out. It's going to be a throw in now. <coughs> Norseman. Conte with the throw in. Chip forward. Foul on the play. Celia Roses on the near side, but uh, down the central, Bridget Wilson with the speed and no problem for the keeper. Mackenzie Samuel, the keeper. Last year, you remember, it was uh, Escalante. She's here. On the near side, it goes out of play. Neil, Neil, your score, just the uh, opening of the match. Cross midfield, Funk sends that ball back to midfield. They're working off their left flank. Ashley gives it over to Bridget. Bridget to the near side. Ball out of play. Bahala with it for a goal kick. UK Sports was uh, on Monday over there at the Point Loma Stadium for the Point Loma San Diego Cabers match. And they have another one coming up on Friday.
Emery. Foul on the play. Foothillers. The possession. And he'll take the free kick. A little bit of a breeze over here in El Cajon. Mahalo. Campus. Smith, working that ball over to Bystreri, and a save, nice save by Samuel. Outside back, sending it up, and it's going to be out of play. It'll be a throw in for the Foothillers. Nice chip inside the box. After the throw in the Foothillers. Sent forward into the 18. Carly Kennedy's uh, pass was intercepted. Smith by Streri, and it is sent out of play for by Streri could do anything with it. Ashley will throw it in. 50-50 ball. Collected by Garcia. Strike that time by Miriam. Sent out of play by Bahala. Good look at the head coach, Fernando Ramos. Nick Eager. Megan Long. Two-time back-to-back champions in Division Two and Division One. Near side, intercepted. Running onto it, Perry Craft. Into the central, intercepted. Nicely done. Bridget Wilson looks for Ashley. Sends an early ball now. Smith trying to get to it. It can't because Samuel makes a nice save coming off her line. Neil nil you score. Hopefully you're enjoying the match so far. From Bahala High School. Aguilera, the header. Back towards Aguilera. Carly Kennedy there. And it goes off of Aguilera's cleat. So it's going to be a throw-in now for Bahala. The near side. Aguilera shooting it off of one of the Norseman players, and now Funk has it. Far side touchline. It is out of play. It'll be a throw-in now for Bahala. We're going to go back towards the defenders. Norseman trickling around at midfield. Now they'll push numbers forward. Strike that time by Ayad. Played to Foothillers numerous times. 
your career. And a save. But they do get a shot and keep Emery honest. In his central, the Norseman. 50-50 ball. Kennedy can't hold on to it, so Perry Kraft. And now into the area, down and just getting back there was Rose's big play that time. Ashley has it, sends it, and instead it goes over to Bridget Wilson, who's got speed on the outside. Bridget Wilson now sends it right at the keeper, and she has to make a save. Bridget Wilson was the only player that scored against Scripps Ranch a couple of games ago. And that loss up at Scripps Ranch for Grossmont. It'll be a throw in now for the Foothillers. Foothillers with one loss, a tie, and a win. Beating El Capitan in their last game. You throw in, and it's knocked out by Garcia. Throwing now for the Foothillers toward the area. Ripped out. Back in again. Quick shot, but Samuel's there. She's going to go off to her right, get the offense started. 50 50 ball. Carly Kennedy winning it. Getting it over to Smith. Madison Smith. Nice ball to the near side. Not able to do anything with it that time was by Streary. However, they're going to get the throw in. Aguilera will throw it in. Into the corner. Smith is not going to be able to get to it. And they're going to get a throw in. Will the Foothillers? Grossmont High, another El Cajon school, but on the border of El Cajon and La Mesa. Out here in San Diego County, if you've never been out here. Out in the eastern part right now. Aguilera will throw it in. You can see how the flag is moving, a little bit of a breeze. Late afternoon. Put up into the air. Foothillers want to get another strike. They don't get it. And so it's going to be up field. The Norseman phone cast to chase it back and does so. Kirsten Funk. Bad pass. And then now Ashley clearing it up. Giovingo, Jen, sends that ball out to the left, but way too much pace on it for Bridget Wilson to do anything with it. So it'll be a throw in out of their defensive third. Mahala Norseman. Check us out on gksports.org tomorrow, and you'll be able to watch this one. That's for those who are listening here. Obviously, when this shows up. Probably do the same. And then sometime down the road, it'll turn into the second copy. Highlights and instant replays. But the San Diego Caber games are live streamed this season.
for the Oilers. Hope to get that back next season. In the central, trying to do something with it there was uh, Costelli. Not able to hold on to it. Here's Bridget Wilson again, trying to get it over to Smith, and it was directed away before she could get it on her cleat. And Samuel will get it started. Giovingo putting pressure into space. Nicely done. So a throw in now for Valhalla in this nil-nil match. Intercepted by Funk. And then it's sent back upfield. Bahala, the Norseman, on the move. Miriam. Perry Kraft trying to get to it. Rose is defending. There's a chip now, and this one is too far away from the far post. So Funk will get the uh, offense started. Substitutions are in now for Valhalla as they get fresh players in. And the number we do not know is not given to us, 22, Mahala. I believe uh, Emily McBride also came in on the pitch. We had that same scenario going with Grossmont and that finally got cleared up. As number 24 is Layla Salazar. Apologize for not mentioning her name in the previous games. We can only work with what we get, what's given to us. Funk will get it started for the Grossmont Foothillers in this Neil Mill affair out here in Valhalla. City of El Cajon. Up into the air. Norseman, they get a nice header forward. Played down. They have numbers. And they're going to get a shot. And Emery makes a save. The thing that she doesn't want to do this year is give up rebounds. She was about average with it last year. Gonna be a throw in from the near side. Mahala trying to attack. Put one into the back of the net if they can. And on the near side a shot, but it's a little bit away from the near post and Natalie Emery. Norseman still working to try to beat the Foothillers. The Foothillers with 10 new players this season. Last year, right here, if it wasn't for the start that the Foothillers had, the Norsemen would have got a victory right on this field. And they actually within the first minute, got a goal into the back of the net on the uh, Foothillers right here on this field. Some of those players are still on the team. So they definitely have designs to change it around this time around. A lot of them are seniors.
I got a chance to play the Foothillers in the CIF championship game a couple of years ago. This one's put up in the air. In a space where they can continue the possession, that's McBride. And it's gonna turn out to be a goal kick. Oh, well, about halfway through the first half of action. Still no score. Don't really see it in the upper right hand corner on this raw feed as we'll call it. When it turns into that second copy, you will. And that timer will be accurate. And you'll know it's the second copy by the verbiage in the bottom left hand corner. If you don't see that, it's just the raw feed. As there will be no live stream this season for Foothillers. Set piece now coming from the far side corner flag. Grossmont Hills League affair. Foothillers got to defend. They do so and they get it out of their own six yard box. But on it now. Norseman for another chance. And it is sent out of play and they're gonna get the throw in again. So they're putting the pressure here in the last couple minutes on the Foothillers. Kate Baranski will throw it in. Scored a goal last year against the Foothillers right here. Knocked out of play. So now they're gonna get a corner kick. The sophomore, Miriam, going over there to take it. She had a pretty good one the last time. Puts it up on an outswinger. They're looking for that strike, and they do by Baranski, but a save by Emery. Didn't get a lot on that one as she was drifting away from the net. But the first time they didn't even get anything on net. So one out of two that time. Bahala. They still have possession in the defensive half of the Foothillers. The through ball to the outside now. And it's going to go past the in line. And it'll be a goal kick. Funk will take it. Kirsten, the junior, first time on the team. Drives it upfield, but the header. Sends it back towards her. Norseman, they got possession now. On the near side, here's a shot from distance, but it didn't have enough steam for Emery. Off the foot of Emily McBride. So Natalie drives it up, 30 yards away. What Hillers have it? And that was at a close range, goes off of Mahala player. Thankfully, she's okay. Sarah Stanley, Stanley, I should say, is going to throw it in for the Foothillers. New on the team this year, or this season. One that will see 11 games in 30 days for the Grossmont Foothillers, starting from today. To finish it out next month. And then it'll be right back at it in November. Of course, not the seniors, everybody else. Stanley now 
has possession. Stanley sends it forward. It's intercepted, and then this one is sent out of play, and now Bahala will have possession. Clock says about 15, just under 15 and a half left to play in the first half. Noisemen out of their own half. Intercepted by the Foothillers and now Smith is on the run on the near side. Sends one right at the keeper. She was off her line, anticipating. Stanley, nicely taken away by Stanley. Mia Tillett. Tillett, who scored a goal against Scripps Ranch, but she was offside. But Hiller is trying to do better with the offside trap. As we move forward here in the season. Had a little bit of a problem, and now player is knocked down. And it's going to be a free kick. It might be a booking. Bahala with possession out of their own half. Knocked out by the Foothillers. the seniors into the match alongside Yanni Garcia the senior center ref is talking to the assistant in this match Funk shepherding that ball and no problem for Emory. Gets it up to midfield, but it's intercepted by Kate Baranski. But they can't gain possession, and here's Smith now. Madison Smith for the Foothillers of Grossmont. Sends a ball early, trying to get it to uh, Bridget Wilson. She's ran right off the soccer ball. Center ref says play on. Baranski, but it's taken away. Carly Kennedy sending it in some space on a through ball. Back up field now. Ashley has it and sends it into the area, but uh, no problem for keeper coming off her line. Here, a warning about language out there by the center ref. And whoever it is will get booked the next time. Throw in for Valhalla out of their own defensive third. Taking away. Giovingo putting pressure that time in the space. Coming out of the match is uh, Pion. And into the match is uh, Salazar. Smith. Blocked away. Smith and Bridget Wilson so far have uh, worked very well this season for Grossmont. On the near side, and Stanley putting the pressure, but Stanley backing up because uh, the Norsemen on the move. 
Funk is able to get to the soccer ball and send it up field. 50-50 ball is out of play. And it's going to be a throw in for Grossman High. About 10 and a half left to play in the first half, according to the scoreboard clock. Center ref, green and black. Shorts has the official time. No whistle, must be a substitution. They said the 422 do not have that number. Oh, that was uh, actually, might be Escalante. And it is. Stanley now will throw it in. Sarah Stanley throws it into the corner now. Woodhillers are saying that uh, they should get a corner, but that's not going to happen. As the linesman says instead, it will be a goal kick for Valhalla. Cardi Kennedy, Giovingo, Kennedy now, Salazar. Upfield, Stanley, Mr. Teammate, Salazar. Salazar runs onto it now, pressured heavily. Sent upfield for Bridget Wilson. Looks for Smith now, and that's a bang, bang play, but a nice one for Valhalla as their keeper is able to make the play and keep it a nil-nil score. Then the near side, Emily McBride taken away by Stanley, but now they get it back. Foothillers. And that one is cut off and played forward. Cut off again. This time, Carly Kennedy Plays it. She was looking for Bridget Wilson. It was cut out. Jennifer Giovingo now, the 50 50 ball, won by Valhalla. And I'm going to turn out to be a throw in, it looks like, for the Foothillers. Back to Funk. Funk now sends that ball whizzing up field off the left flank. Smith can't get to it. Sent all the way up field by the keeper. Ricochets, the Foothillers had it momentarily, but now Bahala have it back. Near side from McBride, intercepted by Stanley. But they just have a player in the space. But the Foothillers get it back, and the early ball for Smith. Had too much pace on it. She just couldn't get to it. A few feet away from her that time. Well, here's Samuel. Get it started. For Valhalla. On the near side. The Norseman. Intercepted by Stanley into space. Nicely done. Carly Kennedy to Smith. Smith drops it back to Stanley now. Sarah Stanley now from long distance and a save. Showing she can drive that ball pretty far. Upfield. And the ball is out of play. Close to about six minutes left to play on the scoreboard clock in the first half. 50-50 ball it comes out for Bahala. The quick touch there by Jenna Smith. He tried to go upfield, it's cut out. And now Smith drops it back to Giovingo, back to Smith. Smith working with Giovingo. Only been able to work in practice, not in competition lately. 
games canceled and stuff like that in a very odd season because of the pandemic. Bahala cutting it out and sending a ball forward. I want to get something going up forward, but Funk is able to range back and get to the soccer ball. On the near side, and it's out of play. It might be off of, it is, it's off of the Foothillers and Tillett. Nicely defended before it could get to uh, Smith. So the Norsemen. Escalante, an early ball. It's a nice one, too. 1v1 with a keeper and a goal. And an Norsemen do like they did last season. Score first, and it's 1-0. That has been a scenario that the Foothillers have seen now at least a couple of times where their defenders getting beat straight down the middle in a 1v1 with a keeper. They don't have uh, the speedy player they had last season. She would have been on their team this season, but uh, family elected to uh, because of the pandemic. Give her a chance to at least have a senior season and, and I, from what I understand, wasn't even soccer. It's track. So they have a gap back there that they're gonna have to deal with all season long. And in some weeks, it's gonna be three games in a week. One nil, the Norsemen. And they want more. Intercepted, cut out in the back. Aguilera couldn't bring it down. The near side. Sassina who's into the match now with Smith, who's on the soccer ball now. Aguilera sends it forward over to Smith. Smith goes down. 50-50 ball, that one is a strike that uh, came back upfield, but the Foothillers still have it now. Sent back over to Aguilera, the senior. Still trying to get it forward, but it's being blocked. Carly Kennedy, who is good at twisting around, trying to find space, but now intercepted again by the Norsemen. Trying to work out of their own defensive half now. But here is uh, Giovingo has it. They're putting a lot of pressure on the strikers. Are the Norsemen, they won't allow them to do what they want to try to do. Going down is Giovingo. Let's see what the call is. And it's going to be a free kick. Carly Kennedy is will set it up and take it. With inside, two minutes left to go. So don't know exactly how much time here if you're watching the game. Like I said, when it goes to the second copy, you'll know exactly how much time up in the right-hand corner. But on the raw feed, which comes out first, you won't. Carly Kennedy with a free kick, the set piece. Not enough, and a save. Wynn might have played a little bit with that one. Samuel making the save. Time running out for the Foothillers to try to get a goal in the first half. Or for Valhalla to try to get another one. Norseman playing on their home field. The one time this season against the Foothillers. They'll play over at Jack Mashon Stadium the next two times these two teams play. There, I should say the next time these two teams play. And the Norsemen have it now. 
They can uh, decide to go forward or eat up the clock. Ball knocked out of play. Mahala trying to do something, but they can't. It's just taken away. Here's the dangerous Smith now. Smith is being marked heavily. Smith is having a hard time. They're finding a way to keep Smith from getting free. And that'll be the key for the Foothillers in the second half. Can they get Smith free? And obviously, the Norsemen will be into their keys of not allowing Smith to get free. Or Giovingo for that matter. Funk now, sending it all the way back to Emery. Emery sends it upfield. But it's intercepted by the Norsemen now. With limited time, but they'll try a shot. And Emery is able to make the save as Escalante not able to get to it. And that's the end of the first half, the double whistle. So Valhalla is able to get the goal and take a 1-0 lead. Stick with us, we'll be right back for the second half. It'll be real quick if you're watching the second copy because the highlights of the first half will begin right now. And even the raw feed will be just enough time, I guess, for you to stop the video, go get something to eat, and then come back. Smith, working that ball over to Bystreri, and a save, nice save. Wilson, looks for Ashley, sends an early ball now. Smith trying to get to it, it can't. Bridget Wilson now, sends it right at the keeper, and she has to make a save. Played down, they have numbers, and they're gonna get a shot, and Emery, Grossmont Hills League affair. Foothillers got to defend. They do so, and they get it out of their own. For Bridget Wilson, looks for Smith now, and that's a bang bang play. For the Norsemen, Escalante, an early ball. It's a nice one too. One v one with a keeper and a goal. <laughs> Action set to get underway here in the second half. Foothillers going from right to left and left to right are the Norsemen. One nil, Bahala leads. Smith trying to make a move. Can't do it. Funk falling down. Natalie Emery comes off her line and makes the save. Ball up to midfield. Funk off her cleat. They can't secure it, so back. Kate Baranski now darting to the central. Trying to get it to the far side of the field or her teammate, and that ball is out of play. 
So the foot healers. Taylor Aguilera will throw it in. Team's got plenty of time here in the second half. They're only down by one. Both teams one, one, and one coming into this match. It's a Grossmont Hills League match. So it means more than those non-league matches. Sarah Funk was trying to race and get to that one, could not. Bridgie Wilson has to track back. Cecilia Rosas tracks back to get it, sends it upfield. Sarah Funk now. Left-footed strike is intercepted. Bridget Wilson couldn't get it. Taylor Aguilera. No, that's uh, Smith, actually. And dispossessed. Perry Kraft all the way down. Making a save is uh, Emery. Ball sent up in the air at midfield. Aguilera gets a strike onto it and sends it out of play. Kate Baranski going after it and steals it now. Kate Baranski sends one up in the air. This is danger and just almost put it into the back of the net. Just wouldn't dip down and she thought it would. And if so, it would have been that 2-0 lead. Those are much more difficult to deal with than the 1-0 lead. Aguilera leaves it for Roses. And Roses being pressured. Roses now, and it goes out of play. Gary Kraft, the senior, putting that pressure on her. Going to be a throw in from the far side touchline for Valhalla. Playing at their home field out here in El Cajon. Greg K. Porter, pleased to be with you again for another match between these two stalwarts in the Grossmont Hills League. Now, trying to uh, run one in the 18 yard box. They still have the danger for the Foothillers. It's Jenna Smith making moves. They still have possession. Ball up in the air. Giovingo not able to win it. Taken away to the near side. Kate Baranski with time and space. Baranski keeps control of the soccer ball. They still have it and will send it, but it's off target. And nevertheless, every time it goes out, when you lead 1-0, it's in your advantage. Still a lot of time for the Foothillers. 35 minutes left to play in the match. Funk now will get it started. Kay Baranski on a nice interception. The Perry Kraft now. Kraft drives it back upfield now, and this one is back over to Baranski. Gets a touch onto it. Gets it to Kraft now. Kraft trying to go forward, but a nice play by Aguilera in the space. Just wanted that extra step. To step around Aguilera and try and see if she can get to towards the keeper to get a good shot or a pass. Throw in and a foul in the space. In the back on the push. So now it's going to be a free kick. Free kick for Bahala. Murrum will take it. And 
Making the save is Emery. She tried to tail away from her, but she stayed with it. Natalie drives it upfield. Comes down, and it's played over to Carly Kennedy now. Kennedy with possession now. Kennedy drops back. Kennedy's pressured and sends it out of play. So the Norseman. Perry Kraft now, nice play in the space. And let's see what the call is. That's gonna work against uh, Valhalla, so it's gonna be a free kick. And actually, it was out of play over there, so the throw in. And now it's out of play again, and it'll be a throw in this time for Valhalla. One nil, the Norseman leading. Here in the second half, early moments of it. Smith on the soccer ball. Madison Smith now looking to link up and a nice save. Escalante playing the keeper in the second half. Near side. Funk tracks back, gets it a soccer ball. Funk is able to get it up forward. Carly Kennedy is a good passer to Smith, and Smith just could not hold on to it that time. So Escalante has it. Lots of sports being played in Southern California at the same time, wearing down these fields. And more importantly, wearing down the minds of the athletic directors and the coaches trying to find time to practice, space to practice, to make it all happen. So hats off to him from GK Sports in one of the more challenging finishes of this uh, calendar year for school. And anybody who's been around modern history. And hats off to the parents who have been able to deal with it as well. Madison Smith now drops it back. Getting it over to Isabel Curtin who sends it across the field now. Bridget Wilson tries to keep it in and slides and not able to do so. A nice hustle by Bridget Wilson. Speedster for the Foothillers. Saw her last year as a freshman. But you knew it was coming. That speed that she has. And already putting balls in the back of the net this season. Trying to do more. She can in this match. To try to get them even. It's thrown down. She'll draw some uh, penalty kicks or fouls for you. That has happened. Carly Kennedy now to Smith now. He's going to take a shot at the save. Made by Escalante, diving to her right to make the save. The veteran keeper for the Norseman. Ashley throws it in. Not able to be controlled momentarily. Curtin finally getting it back to her teammate. Bridget Wilson sends it out wide, but sent too much of it. And it's past the uh, touchline. 
wanted to kind of pop it up that time and somehow her teammate be able to save it. She attempted it, but it didn't work too much. So a throw in in their own defensive third, the Norseman. Enjoying the one nil lead on their home turf. Trying to make a move was Miriam. Or Murrum, I should say. Carly Kennedy putting it in some space now. Funk chasing it down. It's going to be out of play, but it was lastly touched out by Valhalla. Sent forward, but intercepted by the Norseman. Nicely done. And they go upfield. Aguilera marking up, and Aguilera winning it and sending it forward. Trying to get another strike are the foothillers that can't do it. Intercepted, nicely done by Rosas. Giavingo. The turn by Funk and not able to finish it as it was taken away from her. Norseman now, good passing. Ashley sends it back. And then gets a return pass. Try to get it started upfield. Going to keep it on the ground. Cross the field. Taylor's got it. Taylor cross midfield. Taylor's pass is intercepted. Nicely done in the back. And it is sent out of play. They just couldn't secure it. So Aguilera will throw it in. Taylor. Nice pass, but uh, Carly couldn't handle it at feet. Neither could Giovingo in that instance, and now Perry Craft and company want to go upfield with numbers. Yanni Garcia. They do have the numbers in the central now, but Agaletta makes a big play. They tried to get the good through ball, and it almost worked. Here's Carly Kennedy now. Her pass is intercepted. Natalie Nybert, Kraft, Nybert still on the soccer ball now. Roses tracks back and gets to the soccer ball and sends it out. Had to make the play because Nybert was on the move. Agaletta throws it in and it goes out of play. Off the Norseman, so it's gonna be a throw in now. As Coach Fernando Ramos thinking about getting another player in. It's actually going to be a free kick. Didn't see the foul. Didn't matter. The center ref saw the foul. Into the central. Here come the Norsemen now as they want to move up forward. And they do so with Kraft on a nice play. And now on the move, they'll get a shot and a save is made. Nice run. Foothillers back up field now on their counterattack now. Bridget Wilson now, her pass over to Funk. Maybe a dummy run back over to Bridget Wilson. And it is off the side of the net and out of play. Might have been ricocheted uh, off a player, but uh, it wasn't a Valhalla player. So it's going to be a goal kick. Into the match now is Emily McBride now for the Norseman. Didn't see quite who came in for. The foothillers, so we'll see. She touches that soccer ball. We'll mention her name. Could be uh, Salazar, who's touching the ball now. 
Early ball now. The right flank, but can't get to it as Bridget Wilson shielded off nicely. As Bridget wanted to try to turn. So Aguilera will throw it in. And it's 1-0 affair. Don't forget we're on gksports.org. Subscribe to us at GK Sports on YouTube. Turn on the bell notifications and you'll know when we have our next girls varsity soccer match or any other sport for that matter. And we are getting requests for other sports. In his space. Foothillers trying to work with getting a potential good shot, and they don't get that. So the time is tick ticking away. How many more opportunities will they have? The Norsemen trying to work out of their own half. Ball to the near side now, and they're going to have speed, and they're going to have a play, and they're going to have a shot, and I go, oh, no, no, no. But a nice run up the field and an opportunity now for a corner kick. Sorry for that misdiagnosis. I am doing broadcasting and filming at the same time. Give me a little break. Try to do the best that we can with it. Liliana now with it. The CK, the set piece, they're always dangerous now up in the air. Trying to put one in the back of the net are the Norsemen upfield. And they're going to get another shot, but it is cut out upfield again. The Foothillers try to get possession. Will they do so? It is blocked. Aguilera is able to win it and get it over to Salazar upfield. Giovingo now. Salazar runs right by it now. Rosas tracks back. Sends the ball upfield, but out of play. And now Bahala. They actually say it's going to be a throw in for the Foothillers. Aguilera throws it in. The Norseman now. It's going to be a uh, free kick for Valhalla. Just inside 20 minutes left, 20 and a half minutes left to go in the match. 1-0, the Norsemen playing at home, trying to defeat the Foothillers for the first time in a while. I mentioned in the first half how they nearly had the Foothillers last season, right here. Just couldn't get it done. At least the tie, they end up being a loss. Stanley comes into the match, Sarah Stanley. Again, a new player on the team. Early ball now. Here's danger. A couple deflections. The Foothillers and Emery able to get it. Collected, sent it upfield. Smith not able to get to it. Or not able to keep it in. And let's see what the call is going to be. It's change now it will be a throw in for the Norsemen <laughs> Norsemen throwing it in 50-50 ball and that foul is going to work Against the Foothillers. Liliana now 
will have the uh, free kick. In the central, this is danger. A save by Emery. Oh, how did she get her hands on it that time? Looked like it was going into the back of the net for Valhalla, and it would have been 2 0. Again, I mentioned in the first half how Natalie Emery can find a way with those hands to make an outstanding save, and there she does it again. Just ask Patrick Henry, they'll tell you. But nevertheless, it'll be a corner kick. Just inside, 18 minutes left to play in the match. Can Valhalla get that second goal thereafter? The header, and it goes past the goal line. Again, working hard, but not able to get anything out of it. Still 1-0, though, they lead. Playing at home. Against the foothillers of Grossmont. In this Grossmont Hills League match, the first one of the season for Grossmont High. Both of these teams came in 1 1 and 1. Kate Baranski now will grab a hold of the soccer ball and throw it in. For Bahala. Baranski sends it up into the air now. Emery will make the save. 17 minutes left to go, unofficially on the clock. Still time, but it is going away for the Foothillers. Stanley not able to get it. Perry Kraft, a heel pass. Nicely done, tries to get the return pass. Here is Kraft and Emery is able to make the save. It had too much pace on it that time. We've seen Perry Kraft now for a number of years. And she is definitely a dangerous player. For Bahala. So is Number 15, Kate Baranski. Stanley now intercepts it. Jennifer Giovingo to Salazar now on the move to get it out towards Bridget Wilson, but it was way far away from her. So it turns out to be a throw in for Bahala. Patrick Henry and San Diego High School will be playing each other on Friday. And that'll be a live stream. Fifty-fifty ball, Bridget Wilson going after it, strikes it out of play. So it'll be a throw in. Bridget Wilson still showing she's got energy to try to make plays. Team's going to need all that energy. Try to get the equalizer. Here's Kraft now. A nice step over. A nice play. Perry Kraft, a shot and a save by Emery. But a nice step over by Perry Kraft. Trying to fool the defender. And was able to do at least enough to get off a shot. Now here's uh, Smith. Smith, Madison Smith now, and sends it behind frame. Smith had a step, not able to get off a good pass or a good shot. She did get off a good pass uh, in the Scripps Ranch game. It actually turned out to be a shot, I think it was. Escalante, who's been the keeper, seen the foothillers. Didn't end well in the last game over at Chag Mashin Stadium for her. But she's healthy now, and that's a good, a good thing. 
50-50 ball now. Sand forward. Foothillers. Madison Smith showing her ball skills. Taken away. Up to midfield, Roses now. Looking for Bridget Wilson and not able to link up. Going to be a substitution coming in. Yet another warning. <laughs> Nicole Iad back into the match. Liliana Burnham into the match. Off of Jenna Smith. Stanley, they dispossess her. Aguilera is right there along the uh, far side touchline. But Mahala, they have possession. The more touches they get, the more possession time they get, the more chances they have to get this victory as they'll keep it away from the foothillers. Inside, 12 minutes left to go in the match. Again, you see the exact time up in the right-hand corner on the second copy. You're not seeing it on the uh, raw feed. That's why I'm giving it to you. Aguilera will throw it in, but first Stanley comes out of the match. And in the match is a uh, curtain. Looking for Carly Kennedy. Well, let's see what the call is. It's going to actually be in possession of the uh, Norseman. As it was a foul on the play. So a free kick now for Valhalla. Stoppages of play will work in their favor. They'll take them. Bridget Wilson's pass was intercepted. Now Bridget Wilson, and it's a play on by the center ref. And it goes out of play. It'll be a throw in by Aguilera and Grossmont. Headed forward to Carly Kennedy, who strikes it over her head, looking for Bridget Wilson. Wilson now stays after it. Lose their balance. Curtin gets a strike, but it's taken away now. Here's Perry Kraft now, who comes back to help out. Smith, through traffic, Smith launches one and off of a bounce. No problem, Escalante makes the save. Center ref and uh, his assistant referee talking again. Second time in this game. And let's see what the outcome is. He wants that soccer ball, and it's going to be. Drop ball, which I figured it more than likely was. But he and the assistant referee taking notice of what's going out there on the pitch. The players have to be taking notice as well. With nine minutes left to play in this one. And endorsement at home trying to get a victory, a cherished one. Against Grossmont. So kick start him into the rest of this Grossmont Hills League play. 
or 20, 2021 pandemic delayed season. Upfield, Stanley. It goes off of uh, Kate Baranski's shoulder to throw in now. Ashley throws it in. Woodhillers have it now. Aguilera sent toward the central. That was by Funk. Upfield. And this ball is out of play. It'll be a throw in for Grossman. Funk will throw it in. Does so. Trying to be secured by Smith. Smith still working with it, but cannot secure it. Nicely done by Diaz Cont. Garcia. Drop back to the center defender now. And off to the uh, left flank. Left back and in upfield. As Funk chases it down, back to Baranski. Over to Funk now. Off a deflection, and the Foothillers will be able to throw it in. Aguilera. Down close to seven minutes left to play. Foothillers down by a goal. Scored in the first half. Could get shut out in this one. They haven't played in a long time, though. So only giving up one goal is not a bad thing. Even if they cannot get that goal and end up with a draw. They're going to get their chance to play a lot starting next week. I believe it's three games next week. The Norseman with possession up to central, cut out. Nicely by Funk now. Funk on the move now. Kirsten Funk driving it across the field, getting it over to Aguilera. Aguilera now into the central. Sarah Funk chasing it down. We'll be able to throw it in. Sarah now back to Aguilera. Giovingo now not able to get to it. And it is out of play. And it could be a free kick. And it's going to be a booking. Don't know who it was that got the booking, whether it was uh, Giovingo or looks like it might be Carly Kennedy. And it is. So Carly Kennedy is booked with a yellow card. First card of the day, of the, the match. Mia Tillett into the match now. Escalante. Right back, sends it upfield. Perry Kraft now, run off the soccer ball by Funk, nicely done. Tracks back, cross the field to Aguilera. Aguilera now down the right flank, looking for Kirsten. I should say Sarah, and Sarah's not able to run it down. Funk ladies trying to make a play here, trying to make something happen for their team. Since I had five minutes, heading towards four and a half left to play in the match. One nil, the home team. In the orange, Orange Nation leading one nil. They're playing a lot in their own half now. Ashley gets back to it. But, Norsemen have it. Foothillers at this point can't give up another goal if they intend to get a draw or to win this match. Now here are the Foothillers on the move. In is central, Tillett now. Tillett trying to switch control of the soccer ball, gave it away. Row 
Moses from long distance. Not able to connect, Escalante will make the save. Three and a half left to play in the match, unofficially on the scoreboard clock here. I understand next season they're going to have a new turf. This was pretty worn out. It'll be a different deal. So a lot of good things coming for Bahala High School. As far as the athletic department's concerned. Rose is tracking back now. Intercepted by the Norsemen. And they'll keep doing that as much as they need to. Ride this one in for a victory. Swaggerty sends it back. They have possession. And they'll keep possession if the Foothillers can't do it. And there is a uh, whistle. And a booking. And is it Smith? It might be Smith. So Smith is booked now this time. So two players for the Foothillers are booked now in this match. But Kennedy can come back in. But she has to be careful. She has one of them. Smith now has the other. Not a lot of time left in the match. And I've seen teams play one player down and still find a way to put one into the back of the net. Free kick now for Valhalla. Substitutions being made. Adjustments, final adjustments. Both teams going to process this last inside. Two minutes left to go. Won't know how much is left because it stops at two here at the stadium. Center ref has the official time. Curtin sends it upfield. Though, if you're the Foothillers, you got to make sure that it's in the attacking area. And the AD for Grossmont <laughs> almost tried to get that one, but not quite. Good effort, though. to the near side. The Norsemen want to continue to work upfield. Try to secure this victory. Limited time for Grossmont. The Norsemen may be able to get the seniors for the first time at their home field of Grossmont. Talking about the Valhalla Norseman seniors. Over to Grossmont seniors. They would have rather done it and at CIF Championship a couple years ago, but it didn't work out. But they definitely want to at least get it once. And as time is running out, they might just do that here. They have possession. That's not what Grossmont wants as Emery comes off Makes the save. Emily and the Foothillers. In a scenario where they're going to possibly lose their second match of the year. Haven't played that much. Trying to avert that, but not able to do it right now. Down 1-0 and not able to... Control the soccer ball, Kraft. Jenna Smith. You know they want it bad. Smith now. I mean, uh, Perry Kraft, I should say. Smith tried to get it there, did not. Ashley sends it forward now. Looking for a handball, they're not gonna get it. And finally a whistle is blown. And it's gonna be a yellow card. Uh -huh. 
And it is going to be a booking for Nybert on the yellow card. Foothillers, maybe their last chance here. Jennifer Giovingo who can hit it from distance. Here's our opportunity. Lifts it up, lifts it good, but Escalante gets the save. Maybe the last biggest save of the match. She has seconds she can use and she does so before she drives it up the field. One nil, Bahala ladies leading in this Grossmont Hills League match. Over the Foothillers of Grossmont now, and they're going up the field, and that is not what the Foothillers want. Here's Kraft now with a shot. Emery makes a save. Limited time for Grossmont. Time has stopped, long stop now on the field. And a foul. Free kick. Free kick now for Bahala. Foothillers have to intercept the soccer ball and go down the field to have any chance to get the draw. They can't play in their own defensive half and that's exactly what's going to happen for a moment here. The far side of the field that goes out. It'll be a throw in for Valhalla, the home team. Gomez leaves it for a good throw in. Looking for Kraft. Kraft puts it in the air, and it doesn't matter because it eats up time. And the Foothillers have to go the length of the field. The header into some space. Cash Johannan sending it out of play, but a throw in now for the Foothillers at midfield. They get it all the way up towards the attacking third, but that's the match. The Norsemen of Valhalla get the victory. The seniors, it's a big one for them, playing Grossmont at home and finally being able to get a victory against them. And the first time they've beaten the Foothillers in a while. Final score, 1-0. We hope you enjoyed this match out here in El Cajon. Don't forget, go to our page, gksports.org, and check out our Twitter page. It's a good one. Along with the Facebook, every day for at least 10 hours, you get Max Preps updates, all the professional sports, and our Instagram page is even better and better. And that's the one that most of the kids nowadays like. And we have interviews going on there now with uh, Josh Pangan. He will be doing many of those. Of course, uh, the Cabers will be playing on Friday, and they'll be playing against Patrick Henry. Next week for the Foothillers, They'll continue on in Grossmont Hills League play. Smith working that ball over to Bystreri and a save. Nice save. Bridget Wilson looks for Ashley. Sends an early ball now. Smith trying to get to it. It can't. Got speed on the outside. Bridget Wilson now sends it right at the keeper and she has to make a save. Played down. They have numbers. And they're going to get a shot. And Emery makes a save. Grossmont Hills League affair. Foothillers got to defend. They do so. And they get it out of their own. For Bridget Wilson. Looks for Smith now, and that's a bang-bang play. So the Norsemen 
Escalante, an early ball. It's a nice one, too. 1v1 with a keeper and a goal! Madison Smith now looking to link up and a nice save. Carly Kennedy now to Smith now. He's going to take a shot at the save. Made by Escalante diving to her right to make the save. Now, and they're going to have speed and they're going to have a play and they're going to have a shot and a go. Oh, no, no, no. In the central, this is danger. A save by Everett. Just inside, 18 minutes left to play in a match. Can Valhalla get that second goal there after the header and it goes past the goal line. Yellow card. Foothillers, maybe their last chance here. Jennifer Giovingo can hit it from distance. Here's her opportunity. Lifts it up, lifts it good, but Escalante gets the save. Maybe the last biggest save of the match.